Welcome to rainy Calgary, Alberta, the new home of the Canadian Premier League champions. They have arrived after clinching the regular season title. And a little rain isn't going to dampen the celebrations for the foot soldiers or the members of VFC's various supporters group, including Red River Rising and the Trench, who made the trip to Adco Field. They call it home of the classics, while Spruce Meadows is now home of the champs. It is Cavalry, the league leaders, and Valor. Today's teams, let's begin with the Cavs, the hosts, they make three changes to their 11 today, staying in that shape that they have made their own. Callum Montgomery is back in at center back. Garrett Smith Doyle to the wing on the left side. Frazier aired on the right side for the Cavs here today. Phil Dos Santos, he makes just one change to his selection today, and it is a reward for Walter Ponce, who scored the match winner in the nation's capital. He starts up top of this 4-3-3. I know I've seen a few people ask the question in various online and in-person circles. I'll remind you that if Cavalry were to win the double, the regular season runner-up gets the other cocky gap spot. Excellent test, Carducci. Close to the penalty spot, but couldn't keep it down. It's difficult to adjust your body and make the contact that you'd like. Fast restart, and there goes Meyer. Bergen gets up ahead of Fender Falls. He tests Yesley, who gets up into it. Lucy follows up Smith Doyle through the legs of Bacaro and Valor clear. The hustle at the right time for Cavalry to take that throw in quick. As Yesley goes down, that ball comes right back into the middle. Gutierrez chases after the ball. Cavalry tries to check Carducci, and he does not miss very much. Carducci immediately talking to his center back. Some miscommunication, and David Gutierrez will always take his chance. From one end of the field to the other. New Zealand International keeps it in play. Charlie Trafford, does he think about it? Yes, he does, and yes, he that skitters across the goal inside the six-yard box. It looks in real time like Yesley got a piece. Most days, I wouldn't want the pressure of being a referee, especially when you can't see more than 20 feet in front of you. It must be even more difficult. Just a silly mistake here. Aired to his credit with two very young pros on either side of him. Trying to teach and execute all at once. Moosey, brilliant. Sprints into the gap. This is Moosey. Back for Kamara. before he comes in and gives his team talk. You and I are a little bit hypocritical tonight in the climate control booth with no rain and bubbles. Here is Garrett Smith going on to his right foot. He shoots. That goes off the post and in. Wasting absolutely no time the Cavs to get on the board in the second half. And for Garrett Smith, it is his first goal as a pro. It is his first goal for Calgary's senior team. And he is mobbed at the touchline by his teammates. One he'll always remember a night especially that was already going to be there. And look at the grin on his face, Jim. Yeah, look at He's delighted. Which allowed Haynes to come over and let to Brienne to get back. Dan Klopp caught ball watching a little bit. Here's Paul Sanford. He makes another stop. This is on the way. A mistake from Jean Baptiste on the same side of the field. Daly, one touch. And a shot. Jesse Daly with a tester. Yes, looking him up with the glove just in case it was not required. But the Aussie wastes little time getting himself into the game. Baptiste just. A little bit sloppy, wasn't he, on the ball? Klopp blows a tire as he tried to look the way of Gareth Smith Doyle. Henri, mix it ahead, Mason, back from Henri, he'll shoot again, it's the top of the net. Just over the crossbar. 
crossbar. That was caught sweetly by Henry. This is Ben Fisk here. They'll take the in swimming corner. Sends it high in the air. It is Max. And Callum Montgomery unable to direct that towards goal. away from win number 15 here. And it is confirmed by the whistle of Miriam Marcotte as they come from behind and get two unanswered goals. They celebrate their regular season championship by continuing to do the business at Atco Field.